Looks like the FBI is going to be exposing Hillary's dirtiest files. That's if everybody does one simple thing right now. Emily Nowak, Liberty Writers News, reports that Ty Clevenger, a New York lawyer, he filed a Freedom of Information Act request concerning Hillary Clinton's email investigation in March 2016. Yes, we are still talking about it. Well, last week, he finally heard back from the FBI regarding the request. And guess what? His request was denied. Yeah, denied. According to the FBI, there was not enough public interest shown to justify completing the request. I'm not sure how they could even justify that. Public interest, not enough? I think that's probably one of the greatest public interests. They say here the FBI says it will only release records from files of former investigations if the subject directly consents, is deceased, or if there is strong public interest in the case. Oh, <laughs> wow. They write here, FBI Records Management Section Chief David M. Hardy bolstered the last claim, telling uh, Clevenger in an email that, quote, you have not sufficiently demonstrated that the public's interest in disclosure outweighs personal privacy interests of the subject. <laughs> wow, they also said here, it is incumbent upon the requester to provide documentation regarding the public's interest in the operations and activities of the government before records can be processed pursuant to the FOIA request. Okay. Um... Man, uh, can you imagine compiling all the public interest uh, information into one email? That, that would fill a book. And they're claiming there isn't any? They say it here that considering the Clinton email investigation was a major scandal during the 2016 election that captivated a good part of the electorate. Yes, I'd say that there is public interest. Now, Clevenger was specifically looking for documents that were filed after a referral to the Department of Justice from the former House Oversight Chairman Jason Chaffetz, who asked the DOJ to, quote, investigate and determine whether Secretary Clinton or her employees and contractors violated statutes that prohibit destruction of records, obstruction of congressional inquiries, and concealment or cover-up of evidence material to a congressional investigation. They state here Clinton was found to have used a secret, non-government server during her time as Secretary of State. The FBI determined that she did not deserve charges because she allegedly did not know the dangers of having a secret server. And even though she did, put the national security at risk. Now, uh, Clevenger said of the ruling to the Washington Times, I'm just stunned. This is exactly what I have expected had Miss Clinton won the election, but she didn't. It looks like the Obama administration is still running the FBI. He continued, how can a story receive national news coverage and not be a matter of public interest? If this is a new standard, then there is no such thing as public, a public interest exception. Well, a petition now has been started to refute Hardy's claims and prove that there is interest in the Clinton email scandal. If you go to the link in the description, you can sign it. Something clearly is up with the FBI investigation if they think there's no public interest. Clearly a lame excuse. Luckily, we have people like Ty Clevenger who's willing to get to the bottom of it once and for all. So go to the link in the description at Liberty Writers News, get on that petition, and start signing Patriots right now. Comment below, subscribe for updates, and mash that share button. We'll see you at the next report. For the next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. Badass shirt now available. Link in the description. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please share this report, and to get more videos like this, become an X News subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.